Recording audio is really fun in Adobe Captivate. You have a bunch of options to import audio, and you can also record audio directly using a microphone in your project. You're going to see this big helicopter against a green screen. Uh, this is from an older video where uh, we saw how we can insert video. So I'm just going to keep that around. Let's take a look at the audio menu really quick. In the import to audio, you have three options. You can choose to import an audio file or record an audio byte to an object, to an individual slide, or have audio running in the background for the entire duration of the project. Now remember, you can change the duration or you can choose to change how the audio would play out on an object level, on a slide level, or control it all over the duration of the entire project. I mentioned that you can also record audio. So once you click on the record button and you say you click on object, you're gonna get a little recording interface where it would pick up what microphone you have attached to your computer. And then all you gotta do is click on record and you get a countdown and audio will start recording. So you have a meter down here that will tell you the intensity or the input of the gain of, uh, from the microphone that you're using. And uh, once you're done with recording, you click on stop to kick oh, play back so. and you'll get to hear the audio that you recorded. Uh, at any given point in time, uh, the editing capabilities of uh, your audio file uh, remain pretty slick. Uh, you can choose to adjust volume, uh, so you can choose to normalize and also you can choose to reduce the gain as I mentioned. So if you feel that maybe the input level is a little high, you can choose to reduce the gain here. Also, uh, you can directly take this audio file to Adobe Audition, uh, which is the audio editing tool from the Adobe catalog. Uh, it would give you uh, access to some more sound filters. So if uh, you like playing around with post-production for sound, uh, that's a good place that you can get some options. Uh, once you click on save, uh, the audio would get added to that particular slide or object, as I mentioned. So audio can play if a user clicks on a button or if at any given point in time, a user uh, goes to a particular slide. So then within the audio, menu you also have speech management uh, speech management is your text to speech generator so again you can add uh, slide notes uh, text to speech notes directly into each slide and once you click on generate audio it will generate audio for that particular phrase that you added also in the audio menu you have the audio management option the audio management option would actually give you a snapshot of what kind of sound bites you have on every slide. It also shows you the durations of all those sound files that are there. This is always a really, really good way for you to see which one of your sound bites is located where if you're working with really, really large projects.